at least uh, we saw the truth come out to some degree that, uh, that, that Judge Moore passed a polygraph. And i got to tell you something. I mean, you know this, Jeff. He is such a godly man. All of these false accusations completely discredited. But, but it, it's the closest thing. I've been involved in, in the political world for a long, long time, uh, uh, most of my life. But it, this is the closest thing I've ever seen to working for a founding father. This is a guy that he absolutely could have trusted to drain the swamp in Washington, to take on the establishment as well as the machine that would uh, that, that work to unseat him, to work to make sure he lost his election. And that's why he was hated so much. And so where is Judge Moore on this? I'll just tell you. It, toward the end, I was talking to him, you know, four or five times a day, and he is standing strong. He knew uh, what he did was right, and uh, he doesn't need to be elected to, uh, to serve God and to, to, you know, this is not about... Uh, any political ambition on his part at all. He said, if, if whatever God's will is, I'm, I'm going to serve him in whatever capacity. Of course, he's got the foundation for moral law, and I'd like to see him. I mean, I'm, I, I give, give him counsel from time to time, and I, I think he'd be a, a great candidate for governor uh, against uh, the woman who, uh, who also was one on the canvassing board that, that, that uh, uh, affirmed, that certified these fraudulent elections without so much as an investigation. He'd make a great, a great governor. He'd make a great senator when this comes back again. 